and welcome to another edition of Northeast Current. I'm your host today, Tony Schwartz, and we've got a great show for you today. I'm sitting here today with a good friend of mine, actually, Mike Lolly. And um, first, before we get into why Mike's here, let's learn a little bit about Mike Lolly, okay? Uh, now, Mike, I know you're through some acting. We've done some acting together in community theater. So you're Mike Lolly, the actor, but you're not yeah. a full-time actor. What do you do for full-time employment? Uh, I'm, I'm a firefighter with the city of Scranton. You're a firefighter with the right. city of Scranton. So right. full-time firefighter, part-time actor, mm -hmm. uh, and you're not done there. No. You're also an author, right? And that's, that's what correct. you're here today for, to, to tell us a little bit about your, your new book. Right. Which is titled? Helen, the First Trojan Horse. Helen, the First Trojan Horse. Right. There was more than one? <laughs> uh, well, a lot of people think there was only one, but uh, I'm... I'm here to tell you that actually there was two in a right. way. So, so l l let's, let's clear up some things for the folks at home, first of all. Is this uh, historical fact, historical fiction? What, what are we writing here? This is historical fiction. Um, the timelines and, and the sequence of events are all accurate. I follow her life from her birth through the Trojan War and, and to her death. Um, obviously, um, you know, I have to write, uh, you know, different dialogue and create some characters in there. So it is historical fiction, but as I said, the sequence of events is historically correct. Okay, tell us a little bit about the book. Well, the book is, it, it's about, about Helen of Troy. And um, first, I just started thinking that Helen has been branded throughout history as an adulteress and a traitor. And something just told me that it just doesn't seem, it didn't seem right why the Queen of Sparta would fall in love with this shepherd boy from Troy. And uh, so the Trojans said that she fell in love and, and moved, to Troy, moved to Troy, and the Greeks said that this man abducted her. Now, I, I just, it just didn't seem right to me, so I started uh, investigating a little bit, and uh, I came up with a different theory. And that's what the book is about. It's, uh, it's about my whole theory on here is that there's, uh, there might actually be uh, a big political cover-up. Um, you know, history, history is written by men, for men, about men. You know, they say, well, this is what's going on here. And oh, by the way, there was a woman involved, and this is what the men did. So what, I'm, what I did is now I'm telling Helen's side of the story. And uh, I had a lot of fun writing it. Uh, I learned an awful lot, and um, it, it came out pretty well. I think people will enjoy it. What sparked your interest in Helen of Troy? I mean, it's not something that comes up in everyday conversation since like middle school when you learned about Helen of Troy. So, so seriously, what, what, what's well, what I, sparked I, you I've to think about I've been a bit this? of a, a, a military um, historian. Uh, you know, I, I, like, I like history. I, mm -hmm. I follow history. I've been a, a bit of a history buff. And, and for some reason, um, I guess maybe at the time there were different stories out about Greece, I guess you could say. There was, uh, 300 came out, the movie 300 came out. Right. The movie Troy came out, which was, which was awful as far as uh, the events that happened. I didn't that, say the, that, and, he and said it. Of okay. Mike Lally. Um, that, that's correct. Mike Lally said that, that's I didn't correct. say that. Yeah, Troy was made, I believe, just so Brad Pitt could have his shirt off. I mean, <laughs> because it just... It so just, if this becomes a movie, you're gonna take your shirt off? <laughs> well, no, I'm not gonna be in the movie if this becomes a movie. Oh, okay, because yeah, yeah. you are an actor, Mike. So yeah, I, so well, just maybe checking. I can get in it somewhere, but I, I, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna keep my shirt on. Okay, good. Maybe 30 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, and so those things, um, y you know, they, they just, they were just thoughts that were in my head at the time, and, and, and uh, something just said, uh, you know, it just didn't seem, it just, as I said, it just didn't seem right. That, that, that this woman um, fell in love with this, with this man. I mean, everybody said, well, Paris was, he was really handsome and things. When, Helen, when Helen's father put her hand up for marriage, all these Greeks from all over the, the country and in, uh, in, in ancient, um, ancient uh, Middle East at the time traveled all these hundreds and hundreds of miles. They traveled weeks just to go down and see this woman, just you know, to try and win her hand in marriage. One man, was so handsome that he didn't bring anything with him. He just walked in and he said, you know, I think that a woman of such beauty should be married to a man of such beauty. And of course, he didn't, he didn't, uh, he didn't win her hand. But that's, that's the type of thing that, that tells me that maybe, maybe I'm onto something here. You know, maybe, maybe there is a little bit more to it than meets the eye. So that's, that's what I ended up doing. And, uh, 
And that's the end result. And I, I think it, uh, it came out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with it. So your belief then is that she didn't go off with this shepherd boy. Is that what you're telling me? Uh, that she was more or less forced to go off with this shepherd boy? I say that there's a little bit more behind the scenes uh, type thing. It's as I said. Oh, what, I, you're not going to tell us? You have to buy the book to find out? That's, that's Come on, correct. you could grease that's, our palm a little bit here, Mike. That's correct. Come on now. I'm telling you that. that Come on, bait, may, bait the hook a little bit more here. <laughs> she may have been involved in probably what I would consider one of the greatest political cover-ups in history. I mean, obviously, it's lasted over 3,000 years. Uh, people say, why, why, would, why would someone why would a whole country go to war over one woman? And uh, I mean, there is revenge involved in it. There's greed involved in it. There's, there's a story, um, the Trojans have their whole reason for the things that they did. The Greeks have their reasons for the things they did. Helen is more of a pawn caught in the middle. She may be the catalyst for the war and um, the reasons that I go that I go through uh, in the book, uh, I, I think are fascinating, and I, I think people would, um, I, I think it'd give you food for thought, and I don't think you'd look at the Trojan War quite the same way after you read the book. Okay, or the movie with Brad. Or, Pitt. or the movie. Well, no, no, don't, <laughs> no, no, no. The movie with you and I, Tony. Oh, there you go. With you and I. Oh yeah. Maybe you could play uh, Agamemnon. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah, yeah, I can't guy. even spell that name. Okay, Agamemnon. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, you know, and maybe I'll maybe I'll do uh, Priam, the uh, the king of Troy. But uh, yeah, it's I'll be the guy pushing the horse from behind. That would be my job <laughs> in the movie. What? Um, first of all, where, where'd you get? Where'd you do your research? I did a lot of it online. I online. did a lot of it online. I've been I've been researching this. Uh, Oh, probably three years. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I came up with a, a manuscript and then um, and, and I sent it out to a couple different editors and, and I wanted to talk to some people about it and they said, Mike, you know, they said, what you have here is basically a college paper. You know, so what, what you want to do now is you want to take, take the information you have here and bring it to life. Have your characters saying things. Don't tell us why they did these things. Have them doing things. So tell us, you know, bring them to life. Give them, right. you know, and, and so um, seeing as my first novel, I've never done that before, and uh, it was it, it was uh, it was a little scary at first. I mean, looking at the blank piece of paper, but then um, once I got once I got into it, and I, I did the outlines of, of what I wanted to say, and, and it started going. Uh, you know, it came to life, and, uh, and and it turned into a lot of fun. I was I was uh, a little disappointed, kind of kind of sad when when it was ended. You know, uh, I, I know, I know what you mean. You know, we've, well, you know, we've written a few plays ourselves, and when yeah. you get to the end, it's like you're glad it's over, but you had fun doing it, and, and yeah. you, you you want more. So it, it, that's and, correct, and I, I couldn't bring her back to life, uh, you know. But uh, and um, yeah, and then went back through it, and and, and was doing it over and over again, and um, yeah, it was a lot of fun, and I, I didn't. Uh, uh, you know, I didn't think I had it in me to do that, and now uh, you know, here it is, and uh, you know, and, and I'm very proud of it. It was a lot of fun, and I think people really, like I said, I think people really enjoy reading it. It's it's an easy read. Uh, you know, it's it's only 200 some pages, and uh, I did all the designing. I did designing on the, the covers, uh, you know, the, the inside of the book, the whole deal. So. Uh, yeah, it was a lot of fun. There's I mean, no pictures I, inside, Mike. I'm there, a little I, I, disappointed I in that. You know, I, I guys I, like I, pictures. I know, there's no, there's no, I know there's no pictures, but I, I do have a website. It's called The First Trojan Horse. There's some pictures there. There's, okay. <laughs> there's some pictures there. All right, let's, let's, let's talk a minute because uh, we're running out of time. Let's talk about the website. Well, the Tell web, everybody at home how to find the website. All right, first you can find the website by going to uh, www.thefirsttrojanhorse.com. And, and, uh, there's just a, a little bit more about the book on that um, on the website, and it just uh, it tells you where you can go. You can find to uh, purchase the book. And as I told Tony, there's a, well, there's another picture on there, and, and, and I think people would enjoy that. But um, yeah, and you can find the book on Amazon.com. You can find it on Kindle, and you can find it on uh, Create eSpace. Okay, great. And you got some book signings coming up too, correct? Yes, I do. Um, yes, I do. Why don't you tell us where they are and what's all right, I'll be signing. I'll, I'll be at uh, I'll be at Duppy's restaurant. Oh no, I'm sorry. First Fridays in Scranton, I'll be at um, the Library Express. 
uh, in the Steam Town Mall. I'll be signing books from 5 to 8 p.m. And uh, on second Friday, I'll be in Clark Summit for the Art Walk at uh, Duffy's Restaurant. And okay. uh, I'll be there for the duration of the, of the Art Walk. And uh, just don't stop by and uh, you could, we'll talk. And I, maybe I could tell you a little bit more about the, uh, about the book and, and my theories on the uh, and what I think uh, happened behind the scenes at the Trojan War. He's not going to tell you anything unless you actually <laughs> buy the book. Trust me, okay? I'm looking forward to reading the book. But as I pointed out to Mike, you know, when Jay Leno has a guest on or Jimmy Kimmel, they're given the book to read ahead of time. I have to buy the book for Mike to come on and talk. So I didn't get a chance to actually read it yet. But in all honesty, I am looking forward to reading it, Mike. I'm sure it's a good read, well, an enjoyable you. read. Lots of luck with it. And uh, any ideas for another book in the future? No, not just yet. I'm. Joan of Arc? No, uh, who knows? But it may, maybe a woman, maybe another woman. I don't know. But uh, nothing, nothing has, uh, nothing struck me just yet. So. I see you writing that Marie Antoinette book, Let Them Eat Cake. There's a good title well, for there you. There you go. There All you right. Go. Mike, thanks for stopping by. Come back and see us again real soon with another right. project of yours.